We have prepared our sprint backlog. Now let us understand some key points while working with a scrum project. Key point one, while working with a scrum project, we usually use four views. The four views are sprint planning board view. So this is shown here. The sprint planning board view will give information with respect to all the sprints in a project. The next view is sprint planning sheet view. For that, I'll go to the sprint tools, sprints tab, views group, planning command and choose sprint planning sheet view. This gives a sheet based representation for all the sprints in your project. The third view to use is the current sprint board view. For that, again, I'll go to the sprints tab, views group, sprint command here, then current sprint board view. The current sprint board view will give information with respect to the sprint under execution or the current sprint under consideration. So here you'll have various workflow states such as not started, which I have renamed to sprint backlog, next up, in progress, done. Of course, you can adjust, that is add, delete, change the sequencing of the workflow states. The fourth view will be current sprint sheet view. For that, I'll go to sprint star, views group, sprint command, current sprint sheet view. So this is going to give you a sheet based representation for your current sprint. That is right now we are in sprint one. It will give you all the work items, including all the events. That is scrum events we have added, planning, review, retrospective, daily scrum. That is part of the current sprint or sprint one right now. Next key point. A number of agile practitioners asked me, what about this view, the task board view? Should I use this view? This view, that is the task board view and the associated task board sheet view are typically used for a Kanban project, not for a Scrum project. You can also use it for a Scrum ban project, that is Scrum with Kanban. However, if you want to use for your Scrum project, you can very well use it. Third key point, as you can see here in this view, that is the current sprint sheet view, there is no summary task with subtask as intended one. This creates huge confusion for traditional MS project practitioners because they are used to see summary task. Under summary task, they will see subtask. This is not available in the current sprint sheet view as well as the sprint planning sheet view. The reason is filtering option. This is how it has been designed. It filters out the summary task. So the fourth key point, which is the best view to see the summary task and the subtask as intended one. Here you can change the filters. You can create your own custom filter. So the filter is here for this current sprint sheet view. Go to the view tab, data group, the filter is current sprint. In this filter, the summary tasks are filtered out and they are not seen. Rather, the summary task is part of this task summary name column. So we have login to online trading system. This is the summary task. Under this, you have this five subtask from design develop till PO review. So you can create a custom filter and choose to show your summary task. Or you can go to the Gantt chart view. So the Gantt chart view is a pretty useful view. It gives you the summary task as well as the subtask. As you can see, this is the feature item, login to the trading system, and we have subtask. Similarly, create a new user, another feature, the subtask or daily scrum, which is a recurring task, then there are eight daily scrums. So this is an useful view. You can create a custom filter, but why reinvent, reinvent the wheel? It is already available for you to be seen. And I have added the sprint start, sprint finish, which I've already seen. These two columns I have added while planning for it. This view also shows you the horizontal bars along with the dependencies, if any. The final key point I would like to tell you is this. Once you have prepared the features, added all the events, broken down the features into tasks, have the resources applied, have the linking applied, resolved your over allocation. Now you want to see in the current sprint sheet view or the sprint planning sheet view in a proper way, like task summary name, then subtask. Can I do that or can you do that? Absolutely you can. So for that, I'm going to first go to the current sprint sheet view. So I'll go to the sprint staff planning sprint command current sprint sheet here i'm going to apply my own grouping own custom grouping so i'll go to the view tab i have a custom group prepared and i'm going to apply under data group here i'm going to apply sprint and feature this is a custom grouping and gives you information with respect to the current sprint 
So as you can see, task summary name, no value. That means it is not a summary task. That is sprint planning, sprint review, sprint retrospective. These are events in a scrum. Then you have this as, this as a feature, create a new user. Here you have subtask five. Then you have daily scrum, a recurring task. We have eight daily scrum because it is a two week sprint. Then you have edit an existing user, another feature. Here also we have subtask. Similar thing we can also do in the sprint planning sheet view. So I'll go to the sprint tab, planning group command and sprint planning sheet view. Here again, I'll go to the view tab and apply the same custom group which I prepared, sprint and feature. So with that, you have information with respect to all the sprints with task summary name and subtasks available. So these are the five key points. I would like to emphasize as you work with your scrum project for traditional agile uh, ms project related practitioners without any agile features summary task or the views might be initially confusing but as you practice more and understand with respect to the agile features it is going to be very helpful for you and the best part you can simply drag and drop the features as you track your project for that i'm going to go to the sprint staff sprint command current sprint board so as you track your project you simply drag for example sprint planning so you have started completed on the first day it is done design and develop it is on the feature item is login to online system which is the task summary name i have customized this card to show that task summary name implement ui or you can drag prepare test plan simply drag and draw and complete the items with this i believe you will get a better understanding with respect to working with Scrum projects in MS project with its agile features.